Alright folks, this is Zerik, and today I'm going to talk about the death of console gaming. Yeah, uh, or the lag thereof. Alright, so one of the first things I want to talk about is that this is not going to replace any content on my channel at all. These things are ridiculously easy to make, and the only reason I'm making them is because I'm sick of posting comments in their videos every time they post one of these idiotic videos. And, it's, and I'm not saying that they are stupid. I don't... I'm not saying that they're all stupid, alright? Saying their conclusions are idiotic, which is true. And that doesn't have any any bearing on their level of intelligence, because everyone can make idiotic conclusions. I mean, Al Albert Einstein, you know, one of the historically smartest people on the planet, made uh, some very idiotic conclusions from time to time, and his entire community around him, peers that were actually not as smart as him, came to the correct conclusions when he did not, because of various reasons, whether it be anything from the unwillingness or the inability to make certain connections to things that are relevant to the subject at hand. And when you make those connections, the conclusion of the subject matter changes. So I mean no disrespect to any of the gaming news channels. I subscribe to about like a half a dozen at least, and I watch them. But I don't blindly accept everything they say, and I continuously post comments in their comment section with my rebuttals in it. I've never had any of them reply for some strange reason or another, even though I tend to have the top comment in their videos half the t at least half of the time I post. So, yeah, if you, could, you, if you check out my Google Plus page, you'll see that I have thousands of upvotes for my comments in the short amount of time that it's been out, and I'm not a big content provider and and I don't share my comments with my subscribers it's not on my feed so it's not just my my viewers coming to my comment and going thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up that is all people from their own videos their own subscribers thinking that my rebuttal is a valid point but you know of course none of them reply so there's a lot of videos that I plan on making about this because they I, basically I'm going to have a rebuttal series on my channel now where every once in a while I get so disgusted by one of their videos and not just one person's videos but them all doing the same video talking about the same idiotic thing that I'm going to try to be a voice of reason. So uh, one of the first and foremost important things is that there's if there's a market there will be someone to provide things for that market. If tomorrow there was this tremendous market for three-story purple dildos in your front lawn, then trust me, some company would figure out a way to make those dildos and get them out there to you. They might cost a ton of money, but there's going to be a giant purple lawn dildo freaking manufacturer very quickly. So this is this is something that all of them keep forgetting about that as long as there's a, a demand for it someone's going to try to supply it. All right, so let's start with ISPs, okay? They're notoriously unreliable and it doesn't matter what ISP you have. I guarantee that even with Google Fiber and a few cities that they have it in, there's times where it goes out and it's spotty and things of that sort, and people aren't going to put up with losing their entire gaming library just because they lost connection to the internet. That's ludicrous. No one is going to put up with that. And then on top of that, you will never have a 100% reliable, incredibly fast internet worldwide. It just won't happen happen and here's why no matter how fast that internet connection gets worldwide gaming is an always growing industry people are very demanding they want better games they want stronger games they want faster games and the level of technology it takes to be able to play those games at the optimum settings is always increasing this will never end and well i can't say it'll never end Maybe sometime in the future, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now, we'll reach a point in gaming where it's near identical to real life experiences. And at that point, there really won't be that much more need to increase the level of uh, hardware. But we're not going to be able to do that with streaming. We just can't. We're not going to be there. 
because it's going to be a continuous race. It's not like streaming movies and music, okay? That doesn't increase by that much all the time. Yeah, okay, we got 4K movies now. Well, guess what? The video game industry is so much different than music and movies. You're not going to be able to stream that content. It's the hardware. It gets more and more demanding. It look at uh, look at movies. All right, look at the movie industry. The people keep people keep trying to say, "Oh, look what Netflix is doing." It's such a horrible comparison because if you look at the movie industry and when it makes its advances and when it needs better and better hardware, you see, okay, we had eight millimeter film. Was that it? Whatever. Well, basically, we had film. And we had to use a projector, okay? Then we had VHS and beta. Then we had DVDs. Then we had... Well, actually, there was something in between DVDs that no one really liked. <laughs> uh, then we had DVDs. Then we had Blu-rays. That's it. This The whole history of watching movies in your household, that's all they've had. They haven't even had seven generations yet. We've already had seven generations in co of consoles like that. It just, it's not a good comparison. Gaming technology is always advancing, and you always will need stronger and stronger hardware to run that, which means that you will always need a better and better internet connection to be able to stream that content reliably, which we won't have. All right, so I have a lot more points, but I've realized I'm taking up a lot of time. So I'm just going to make one other major point right now in this video, and that's and it's to bring up another subject that they like to talk about, and that's the failure of Nintendo. And I just want to say that that it's very obvious that Nintendo's failings have nothing to do with the console industry as a whole, but everything to do with their inability to understand and connect with their consumer. They themselves have said they have lost touch with their consumers. There will always be companies that fail in every industry. You look at Sega, Sega failed. It was their own fault. It had nothing to do with the industry and everything to do with their company and how it was being run. If Nintendo died today, it would have no impact on the gaming industry as a whole. Their IPs would get sold off. The good game developers within their company would be hired by other companies and you'd start seeing kick-ass Mario games on plenty of other consoles. That's all that would happen if they died. And it would only be their fault, no one else's. Alright, so I do have many, many other points, but I don't want this video to be too long because people are going to lose interest eventually. <laughs> But as I said before, I will be making this a bit of a series. I'll be doing like a rebuttal series here and there. When I see something that something that some gaming channel is reporting on that I just find completely ridiculous, I'm going to post a little rebuttal video. This whole video took me minutes to make, and it's probably going to take me minutes to edit. And yeah, so it's not going to cut into my LP time at all. Be sure to leave your opinion in the comment section below. I'm more than willing to discuss it with you guys. If you completely disagree with me 100%, then that's good and more power to you. And, and I'm willing to discuss this within the comment section. But try to keep the comment section clean and don't call each other names. Just just have logical debates about your opinion. And accept that if you see that you can't change their opinion, then accept the fact that they will have a different opinion than you and move on. So that's it for today, folks. This is Zirik, and I'm out.